uh, Amway Station. It's given 600. And now second is one third. I'm going to fit it. 600 divided by 30. Again, it's 20. All the quiz or tests, you can have any of those uh, combination of time selection. Could be in millisecond, it could be in decimal, or it could be in fraction. Freaking units. Questions? Timer of mass timer. Timer is called the automatic exposure control uh, timer, AEC timer, also known as photo timer. AEC and photo timers, it goes hand in hand. So the purpose of the AEC uh, timer is just a device that measures the amount of radiations reaching the film. Uh, when certain amount of radiation had reached the film based on sensor, it will automatically stop the exposure. Two types of AAC um, that has been used over the years. Um, oh, two times, four times. One is called the four multiplier two, and then the other is called the ionizations or ion chamber. The four multiplier two is an older type of timer, so it's relatively uh, disappearing. With this, it uses a frozen screen that's generally located behind the cassette in the bucket. As the X-ray goes through and interact with the screen, it luminous to some point. Uh, as it, when it hits you that certain degree of brightness, it will automatically terminate the exposure. And it works really fast and instant, instantaneously. The other type of photo timer is the ion chamber, or ionization chamber. This is the most common uh, type of uh, photo timer used today in modern uh, imaging system um, department. The ion chamber is located between the patient and the film. Since it's located between the patient and the film, it has to be really lucent um, to prevent any artifact. Uh, the ion chamber is based on the amount of charges that is produced as it interacts, uh, as the x-ray goes through this ion chamber and this air. Uh, when it interacts with the air, it causes um, and the uh, air molecule to be ionized. So when the certain amount of ionization occurred, it didn't automatically shut down the exposure. That's what the image is. Now again, four bunch of pipe tubes look okay behind the body. Eye <coughs> chamber is between the patient and the drum, so it has to be very loose. Other differences, where it's located. When we use the AAC device, the purpose of the AAC device is to give the technology a consistent radiograph of the cell anatomy of different patients. So it helps produce a consistent quality of x rays. In order to use the AAC correctly, you have to position the patients very well. So positioning skill is very important when we're using AAC. With the AAC, there's <coughs> sensor cells uh, built within it. Use um, these will be the sensor cell. If you do a chest x-ray, you go patient to patient, 
um, against the board, and then you, when you use the AC, the, this T cell will be activated uh, to make sure that enough uh, radiation going through the uh, for them to sensor. But depending what what type of anemone you're working on, the, these cells will be activated, and some will just turn off. So patient position is very crucial with AC. And of course, all AC devices have a backup timer in the event that it doesn't terminate the exposure. The backup timer is usually set at 150% above your timing, which, which sounds a lot, but in terms of how much time, time selection is there, it's in a fraction of a second. Fraction of a second. If you set your time at 0.5 a second, I don't think you'll probably be 1.5. So, okay. Any questions? Okay. And on the one slide, this is an um, It's final generator is built because it's some. <laughs> <laughs> it's a time -time timer, so it has a phone load genera generator. And again, the purpose of the phone load generator is to help deliver the maximum MA with the shortest exposure time. What, what else can be selection you have? It then continues to reduce the power as the exposure continues. Um, so instead of the highest MA, as the exposure continues, it, the MA station will change, fluctuate based on your uh, exposure. That's why I call it for load generator. The MA changes or goes goes down as your time duration continues. And I'm losing my voice. <laughs> and let's take a break too. Oh my god. Uh, it's almost six twenty seven, six forty?